Hey, Moran Poberi here with another Business Daily Show. And the topic for today is how to increase the value of your business for a sale. And this is part three. So yeah, this is the third part of a series of what I think will be six or so parts on specifically how to increase the value of your business for a sale. And like I said last time, most business owners never think for a second on what their business is actually worth. And when they think about selling their business and start to think about what their business is actually worth, it's usually too late to change anything. So in the next few episodes of the Business Daily, I'm going to tell you the biggest factors that will contribute the most to your business company's valuation um, when you're about to sell the business. And in the last two episodes, we talked First, about the fact that you don't want to be dependent on anyone. And then we talked about how your financials matters. And today, what I want to talk to um, to you about is about growth potential. A lot of business owners, they want to value their business on what they have done in the past. And that's normal valuation strategy. And it works great. But... If you want to really get the most out of your business selling price, try to present it to your potential buyer based on the future potential of your business. And you want to do it as much as possible because investors, they really only buy your business future and they think about what your business will do in the future more than they think about what it did in the past. I mean, it's really good for you to know uh, where they come from and what they're thinking about. For you, when you sell the business, it's a finishing line um, when you're done with the business. For an investor, it's the start for them with your business. So on your end, you want to make the case on what is the business future potential. Um, For example, things like, Um, how it will operate in a different market. Or let's say you've been successful in market um, A. One of the things that potential buyer is thinking about is can you scale the business to market B or C or market D? Or things like uh, cross-selling opportunities or basically any way that you could scale the business up. I mean, if you know how to answer those questions to a potential buyer, You could ask much more for your selling price. The growth potential of your business and how well you make the case that your business is going to grow in the future, that's what can drive up the value of your business a lot. You remember that. If you can show that you can scale much more quickly, you could get much bigger multiples for your business. And... Let me give you an example. Um, If you had, let me ask you this. If you had 10 times more demand for your products or services, let's say you woke up tomorrow in the morning and you had 10 times more customers to serve. How easy or difficult would you be able to handle that demand? And if your answer is that it's impossible, it's really hard to get larger multiples than a company that will answer that it will be very easy to do that. And I'm, I'm talking almost double of multiples that you can get for your business just based on that response. So the more you can demonstrate to a potential buyer that your business has the potential to grow, the more valuable it's going to be. And that's how companies like Uber, for example, got crazy valuation. Um, That's mostly because of its growth rate potential. I mean, as a result of their quick growth, they got valuation of more than $50 billion. And that's for a company that's revenues are in the $400 or $500 million only. It is crazy revenue multiples that they got all based on their growth potential. Their investors, they buy the growth potential that Uber are selling them. So how can you improve your growth story? And if you could do that, 
you can get premium valuation for your business as well. So my question for you for today is what you're going to do today. I mean, how you're going to demonstrate to a potential buyer that you have no growth limits. And if you could do that, believe me, you'll get more for your business. That's all I got for you for today, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave a review, um, comment, ask me your questions and go to moranpober.com slash daily if you want to get daily updates every time that I put um, a new tip out there. And I'll send you also daily notes and tips and more things that you can use to grow your business. Also, if your business is in trouble or you want to sell it for whatever reason, then I'm looking to buy businesses to my portfolio. So go to moranpober.com and get in touch with my team. That's all I got for you for today. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.